While the phrase broke the internet is overused, break the internet, it's like a thing. Jennifer Aniston did manage to break Instagram, receiving the Guinness Book world record for 10 million followers in a single day. Her friend's reunion photo temporarily crashed the site and racked up millions of likes. I'm just trying to build content. I see. As they say. This is how she went from getting flop television and movie roles to one of the most beloved, highest paid actresses in Hollywood. Jennifer Aniston's career got a major boost when she starred in the hit show Friends. I mean, this is the first time for me that I have been involved with a group of actors where I'm learning something every day and in awe of my fellow actors. Now, 25 years later, not only is she named one of three people's People of the Year, she tops the list at number five on Forbes' highest paid actresses of 2019, earning a whopping $28 million. She is also one of the most respected women in Hollywood, which took a long time for Aniston to gain. I think that she's always just been someone that everyone's loved in just about any movie or TV series that she's been in. I would say just she's just a cool gal and no one really has anything bad to say about her. Growing up, Jennifer thought she couldn't retain any information she learned. This allowed her to think that she wouldn't be successful in life. It wasn't until she was an adult that Jennifer learned that she actually had dyslexia during an eye exam. Since her schoolwork wasn't improving, she found refuge in her school's drama club, but had to go up against a serious lack of encouragement from her mother and actor father, John Aniston. I told her, you don't want to be in show business. Show business stinks. <laughs> who told her not to follow in his footsteps. We are definitely glad that she didn't listen to her father. Jennifer has been in the industry for nearly three decades, but it didn't start off smooth sailing. While Jennifer was trying to make a career out of acting, she still had bills to pay, so she took whatever she could get her hands on. She worked as a receptionist, waitress, and telemarketer, but Jennifer said the worst, most stressful job she ever had was a bike messenger in New York City. With cylinders and backpacks and that yes. lasted one day. While she was getting work as an actress, she was in flop after flop. From the 1993 movie, Leprechaun. Oh, God, come on. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Is that me gold? What the hell are you? I'm a leprechaun, me dear. To the canceled television show, Ferris Bueller. Well, how much are you willing to spend? Uh, $20. 30 Warmer. No success, Jennifer ran into TV executive Warren Littlefield at a gas station desperate for reassurance that she was going to make it. And just a few months later, he called her in to an audition for this little show called Friends, which changed her life forever. Um, I've always watched just like random movies that she's been in, but I think I realized that I was a big fan of her when I started binge watching Friends on Netflix. I always kind of like, if I had to like think of myself as a TV character or a movie character, it'd probably be like Rachel Green. So I'm kind of like the same as her when she's in that um, TV series. This year has been filled with tremendous triumphs from turning 50 what? Yeah. to receiving the People's Icon Award at the 2019 People's Choice Awards. Oh my God, you guys. Thank you for this incredible honor. I mean, you know, this, this town doles out a lot of awards, but, you know, the People's Choice, this, uh, this has always been special to me, you know, because as actors, we don't we don't do this for the critics or for you know for each other or to make our families proud. You know, we do this for the money. Now stars and executive produces her first TV role since Friends on Apple TV Plus, The Morning Show, alongside Reese Witherspoon. We are doing this my way. According to People Magazine, 2019 has taught her how much she's capable of. The actress says, the words I dare you or no always make me kind of go, oh, okay, well, let's just see. 